All right, so uh, this should be a short video, and I kind of realized that I should have ran my Firestone Idle RPG before hitting the record button, but oh well. I love my casual idle games because I'm getting older, getting a lot wiser, getting a lot richer, and you know, it's all about just a uh, big chilling and keep farming, you know? So, anyway. Let's see, did I get the right charts here? Yes, I did. Uh, oh boy. I forgot that because I'm so used to just doing new tomb forts that, you know, I sometimes forget two shares and three shares is like, you know, <laughs> the, you know, basically one of the oldest ones. All right, so I'm just doing this quick video on two shares and three shares specifically, right? Two ohm, three ohm, because I see actually a lot of people commenting on it, and oh my god, someone just bought 230 grand worth of two shares. You lucky son of a bitch. So anyway, you know the markets are doing all right. The Russia-Ukraine flood is basically more or less uh, dealt with, right? So now we're just moving on to the next thing, markets-wise. All right, you know, Ukraine is basically under, is basically now part of Russia, right? So however that manifests itself, it's like whatever. Uh, technically, that's a good thing for people, for us dissidents, right? It's a blow to globalism. I'm still 50-50 on whether I want to agree with Greg Manorino that Putin is just playing his part, right? He's playing the bad cop, essentially. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the stuff he's saying, the stuff he's doing, I mean... That's pretty damaging to globalism. So I don't know. I and mean, I know China's gonna take over Taiwan any any day now. Probably not too soon. I hope not too soon, because I'm sure because they too like to make money, right? That's a big thing about us Chinese people specifically. So you know, if they just take over our Taiwan right now, that's that's really gonna fuck up the markets yet again. So they probably want to make sure that they let the markets recover. Maybe in a few months, you know, China moves in, right? I would be okay with something like that, you know, because at least, you know, I have a few months to just pull enough profits, restock my bank accounts and all that good stuff. All right. So anyway, I just want to say that basically it's, you know, I mean, if you've been watching, I mean, unless you're new here, all right, you're just watching me for the first time, which by the way, you should subscribe. You know, as always, everything was just tanking because of the Russia-Ukraine flood, and now we're just bouncing back up. So this is a great time to pick up three shares and two shares if you want to pick up more of those. Because I know Dow King is really big on this. And of course, you know, I never dumped, right? You know, I was auto-accumulating in the FTM2 shares and FTM3 shares, right? Yield-wolfing the shit out of this, right? And I'm, I'm pretty happy. Now, normally I don't do shares these days, right? Because I, because I'm, because right now I'm doing the base, uh, you know, tokens, right? Specifically, base token the FTM or whatever the native blockchain happens to be. But I make an exception for two ohm and three ohm because specifically Dow King mentioned it, I and mean, here I did all like the analysis. So you could check out his YouTube channel. You want know, to take a look at it. Yeah, I don't think uh, the outlook has changed, right? Because basically, I equate two, two with two ohm and three ohm, essentially, right? Because you know they bury the hatcher, Harry, whatever, right? So water under the bridge, which is great, and you know it currently pays, you know, a much higher daily APR compared to everything else, right? Because these are all very low APR. So the only reason why, you know, because I still put a lot of money in here when I was just getting into tomb forks. So, you know, there's not much I can do because obviously if I pull everything out, I take a loss. I'm definitely not going to do that. You know, and on top of that, these are, I consider to be basically blue chip cryptos, basically, right? The safe cryptos, right? I mean, it's two and three of them or two, two finance, essentially. I mean, it's a safe project. So because it's safe, that's why all the money is in here and the daily APR is also shit, right? There's a, there's a direct correlation between risk and reward, right? The higher the risk, the higher the daily APR. What I like, obviously, what I'm, I seem to, that God seems to be guiding me is trying to guide me towards high reward but low risk, right? Because that's, that's where all your money is made, right? That's how I made my money. Right? And, I want to, and I need to do it again, and I am. So I'm very happy about that. So... You know, as always, I'm big chilling, and let's see. 
I think I need two shares to go back to two thousand or three thousand dollars. What was it at before all this stupid shit happened? Yeah, was that like you know, February fifteenth? So last like about ten days ago, was that like thirty five hundred? Right or twenty five sixty eight. I mean, I'd be okay with twenty five hundred to thirty five hundred. So we still need to go up another hundred to two hundred percent. Three shares, I definitely know, was like at six to seven grand. I mean, at around the same time. Yeah, look, six grand to seventy five hundred. So these things are massively oversold, massively uh, shitted on. It makes zero sense. I checked the Discord for two of them. They're not going anywhere. Everyone's holding, staying strong and diamond handing and DCA and holding and whatever. And I'm and I know that the base tokens, two of them and three of them themselves, are also going back up. So it, it it's fine. You know everything looks pretty good. I mean, just look at this. Does this make sense? Right? Does this make sense? All right? When Microsoft goes on sale, like 80, 90 percent. Right? I used this example before. Right? When IBM goes on sale, 70%, right? Goldman Sachs goes on sale, 70%. What are you going to do? Yeah, I'm going to buy the shit out of it. But again, that's why I like Yield Wolf so much, because it automatically does that for you. It's just constantly compounding. Now, now that I understand more about crypto and like liquidity pools and tokens and shit, oh yeah, I don't have any money in here, so nothing's going to show up. Basically, what happens is, let's, okay, so right now we just had a dump, right? So what does this mean? What does my liquidity tokens now mean? Basically what happens is your LP, right? In this case, Phantom to say two shares, but it's the same thing exactly as three shares, just using two shares as an example. Basically your LP tokens right now basically have a shit ton of two shares, right? But not a whole lot of Phantom sh uh, tokens, right? When, one, when, one, when the price of something goes way down, the price of the other thing usually stays the same or goes up, right? At least in regards to your liquidity tokens. So let's say we had another dump. Everyone does is shitting on two shares for whatever reason, and they dump all of it. So basically, your liquidity tokens will have very little phantom, but you're going to have a crap load of two shares. So you have one of two options. You can break your LP and then just hoard all those two shares for yourself and then just wait. Right? I personally do not do that. Right? Especially with the phantom fees I've been bitching about, right, in two videos ago now. All right, uh, right. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna big chill because remember you're still getting like two, not two and a half percent, but point to point two five percent of all the trade fees, right? And that means you get point two five percent. A phantom that goes in and out regardless of the direction and you're getting the same percentage in two shares and the same with three shares and everything else that you happen to be in so you're basically auto accumulating everything for you and then eventually when the price goes back up to let's say the price if the price right now were to go back to where I originally bought my phantom two shares I would actually have more more of everything more tokens and therefore more wealth even though the price is basically the exact same from when I bought it right that's the power of auto DCA, yield wolf, right? You're accumulating more and more tokens. You're you're accruing more of that daily. Uh, okay, because I don't have anything in there, I can't mouse over it. But you know, you'll also notice that they show you both the Vault APR and the LP APR. That LP APR is actually a lot. It's like one to two percent. If these, if if this was like Comet Finance, it would be like two. It would be like three, four, five percent. It's like that's where all the freaking money is being made. So it's up to you how you want to do this. I want to keep shit simple. I've got I'm in like now what 20 projects, 15, 18 projects. Most of them are basically all the vast majority are obviously tomb forks. So I just don't have time, especially with the gas fees, I'm just gonna let it auto accrue, right? Because I because once you're in Yield Wolf auto compounding, right? The community, everybody else pays the gas fees. You don't pay shit. It, it, it's fantastic. Right, and I guess when the, uh, the pending rewards gets to be a, such a large amount, like that's what the 0.3 percent reward pending pool means on Yield Wolf. I think that's what it means. And then I think Yield Wolf actually does the compounding for you. So you're constantly buying, you're constantly buying the dip, you're constantly making profit, and of course you're constantly doing that and then pulling out profits every day. Like I'm telling you, or right? I'm going to keep nagging you to do that every 24 hours. You actually cannot lose. You can only lose when the devs and community lose morale and abandon the project, right? 
or a rug pulls. That's the only way you lose. You will win over time. This is a marathon. It's not a sprint. I mean, sprints are nice, but, I mean, what happens if you sprint and run in a brick wall into, like, Russia-Ukraine shit, right? You, 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 like, you know, you're, you're going to the hospital, right? You're going to the hospital, right? You know, and you're going to be in, an, in a coma for, like, a couple of months, right? So it's a marathon. It's a marathon. And, yeah, you can clearly see that people are, like, large buys are coming in. Most of the cells are just micro cells, right? So... People LPing, people uh, you know taking profit, whatever. But look at these giant, enormous buying numbers. I mean, this is. I mean, the thing is, this is like really like. I mean, the market cap on this says seventy-seven million. All right, this is like big. This is big boy, big whale shit. So you know, it, you're what is, basically what's happening is Yield Wolf is auto buying two shares and three shares, and really Phantom when it's basically at this low level, right? And I didn't have to time shit. I didn't have to do anything because whenever I was dumping, I was probably a sleeper watching Attack on Titan or playing, you know, Firestone Idol RPG or whatever, right? So technically, I already have automatic automatically bought two shares when I was like four thirty six, four hundred thirty six dollars. I was auto buying three shares when this shit was at wow five hundred ninety two dollars. Does that make any sense? Right? It's already three two hundred percent off from the all time low. I think this is probably the all-time low, or at least in recent memory, right? So technically, all of that yield wolfing has already bought me a shit ton of, well, not a shit ton, but, you know, I don't want to do the math, but, you know, I'm sitting very pretty, all right? I'm still technically down under in terms of total values. If I, you know, withdrew everything and dumped everything, then I'd still take a loss. But that's because, again, the price hasn't even begun to really, you know, go back to the moon, right? Or as go back to normal, right? It's literally just been two days, right? And on top of that, bonds are selling off, right? After everyone went into bonds, fear trade, right? It's not even, it's not even selling off that much. People are still afraid, which is good. But stock markets are surging right now. I mean, shit, even uh, crude oil is down, interestingly enough. Oh, yeah, because the sanctions came in and, and then, like... Yeah, they're not, they're not, they don't do anything. They're not banning oil. They're not banning SWIFT. Like, they, they literally do nothing to Russia. And they're only, they're only reiterating the sanctions that were already in place. So there's, they do nothing. Exxon sanctioning Russia, I question its effectiveness. Yeah, he's even got a nice looking picture of Putin smiling. I mean, we all know it's bullshit. I mean, fuck, even Yahoo Finance is running this shit. This is this is this is hysterical. We've now removed all the losses that we had this week, essentially. Now we're going back to all-time new highs. I just wish that today wasn't Friday. I wish we had another trading day, right? But whatever. Maybe uh, people will start putting money in more money into crypto. I mean, I guess it depends on what the market manipulators and big banks want to do. So we're obviously going much higher. Crypto's going much higher. It's going to be very volatile. But in the meantime, you don't you don't have to worry. Just stake and chill. Yield well, yield wolf and chill, right? And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's nothing really to check out. Everything is fundamentally the same. We're getting stronger for like the project, right? Two like two ohm and three ohm. There's nothing fundamentally wrong with it. It's just the price is really low. So this is this is literally free money, right? Free two shares, free three shares. How would you like to have like again? You're buying IBM at a seventy percent discount rate or whatever it is, right? You know, you're buying three shares. You're buying Microsoft three shares at a ninety percent discount. I mean. Yeah, I'll take all your shit. I mean, if I had spare money, yeah, I would buy your I would buy your two shares or three shares if you think this shit's going to zero. Yeah, I'll take your shit. I'll take all of it that I could afford. Of course, I'm not going to do anything because I don't. I'm strapped for cash, right? So, you know, but that's fine. That's fine. So, yeah, that's two shares and three shares, real quick. I think I'm going to make. Sh I really need to get these two other tomb forks out: Apex Finance and Kitty Finance. All right, and then I'll. Then I definitely want to do the strategy video. I literally have just been holding that off for like 11 trillion years. So I better actually, you know, go do that. So I think after I make Apex Finance and Kitty Finance, I'll spend, what day is today? Friday. So tomorrow, Saturday, I'll probably do two videos. If I feel I have energy, I maybe we'll do the strategy video. The problem is Elden Ring just came out. So I want to watch like, you know, XQC and 
Forsen especially uh, play Elden Ring. I mean, I don't know why he couldn't play yesterday, but apparently it's some kind of like PlayStation or Ukraine Russia IP problem or I don't know. But he's in Sweden, so I, I don't see why that would be a problem for him. But so I, you know, I want to do my thing too, and I still have to check deal with my bank situation too. So it's just it's like it's it's just it's just irritating, but I have to take care of it. So you know, it is what it is. So I'm definitely done for the day. I already did three videos. Check out uh, Comet Finance and Pulse Dow. It's already recovering. I'm very happy. It sucks that Pulse Dow. I don't know if it could go back to fourteen dollars. So I definitely bought way over peg. But at the time, the APR was like forty to sixty or eighty percent daily APR. I had I had to jump in. I just had to, right? You know, Phantom and over peg be damned. So, you know, and I'm okay with it because, you know, when it crashed, you know, again, Yield Wolf was auto DCAing everything. So it's going to be good times. It's going to be good times. It's going to be good times. So, okay. I will see you probably tomorrow, you know, because I already had, you know, some time off. I do want to get through this content queue. Plus, it's going to be the weekend. So things will be a lot more, hopefully, a little more chill. Right, Russia should have fully consumed Ukraine by tonight, I think. That's pretty quick. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching, and I guess we could just leave it at... I don't even know what the screenshot is. I don't know. Whatever. YouTube will pick it. So, yeah. Like, subscribe, share the video, grow the community. Thank you, by the way, to everyone. Like, uh, this channel is really freaking spiraling out of control to the upside, so... Well, it's going to be nice to be able to get back my uh, YouTube monetization back after they made that shitty change many years ago. So, and I could use that to help pay the bills. So, yeah, that'd, that'd be nice. All right, thanks.